A milestone moment. The UK hits its target to give 15 million people the vaccine. E News with Lucrezia Millerini. Good evening. The Prime Minister has hailed the efforts of all those involved in the UK's vaccination programme after it was confirmed more than 15 million people have been given a first dose. Just over two months since the first coronavirus vaccination here, Boris Johnson described the news as a significant milestone. It means all those over 70, the most vulnerable, as well as NHS and care home staff have been offered a jab. Well, the target was hit after more than half a million first doses were recorded today but while vaccinations rose the number of positive cases fell to below 11,000 the lowest daily count for four months well Juliet Bremner reports on the vaccine success story so far well, the success of the vaccine programme has fuelled calls for the government to set a date for when COVID restrictions in England will be lifted. The Prime Minister is due to lay out a roadmap for the easing of rules in just over a week's time, starting with schools. But today, the Foreign Secretary, Dominic Raab, told our political correspondent, Daniel Hewitt, that they would make changes cautiously. Daniel is here. So, Daniel, what is the government thinking on all this? Well, the sort of blatantly obvious a lockdown again. One of the big concerns... Daniel, thank you. The ban on evictions enforced by bailiffs in England is to be extended until the end of March. The ban... Just hours after senators cleared Donald Trump, the former president has signalled he may return to US politics. Despite the support of seven Republicans, the Democrats failed to reach the required two-thirds majority to convict Mr Trump of inciting January's deadly attack on Capitol Hill. Losing the vote would have barred him from running to public office. Well, our US correspondent Emma Murphy reports from Washington. Sport now and in rugby, Six Nations France have joined Wales at the top with two wins from two. The French... In cricket, England have had a disastrous day in their second test against India. They were bowled out for just 134 runs. It puts India on course for an emphatic win that would level the series one apiece. The hosts now lead by 249 runs. Here's Chris Scudder. Just before we go, the United Arab Emirates mission to Mars has sent back its first images. That is all for now. I'm back with the late news at 10. Until then, good evening. Fifteen million jabs and counting. The UK hits its vaccine target. With Lucrezia Millerini. Good evening. The Prime Minister has hailed the efforts of all those involved in the UK's vaccination programme after it was confirmed more than 15 million people have been given a first dose. Just over two months since the first COVID vaccination here, Boris Johnson described the news as a significant milestone. It means all those over 70, the most vulnerable, as well as NHS and care home staff, have been offered a jab, as Juliet Bremner explains. Well, the success of the vaccine programme and the decline in coronavirus cases has fuelled calls for the government to set a date for when COVID restrictions in England will be lifted. The Prime Minister is expected to announce when the rules will be eased in eight days' time. But today, one of his most senior ministers cautioned expectations of a quick return to normality. Here's our political correspondent, Daniel Hewitt. Daniel is here. Daniel, pressure only really growing on the government now? Uh, eventually, yes. How to unlock quicker are going to be the, the loudest. Right, Daniel, thank you. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have tonight announced they are expecting a second child. Harry and Meghan's announcement that Archie will soon become a big brother came along with a new photo of the couple. It's now almost a year since the pair stepped down as full-time royals and moved to the US. Our royal editor, Chris Shipp, has the details. Finally, England's cricketers are facing the prospect of likely defeat in the second test against India and Chennai. Joe Root's side were bold. So from me and everyone on the weekend team, bye-bye.